What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add hint text to your Unbounce forms. So it will look something like this, where it's asking for the name inside the actual box rather than on top, like over here. So this looks nicer and it saves space. So an awesome way to take that to your, use that to your advantage. And over here, as you can see, conditional dropdowns, we've created that in one of the previous videos. Check that out if you want to know how to do that. But that being said, let's begin. I am using this website. Uh, I will link it below, disruptiveadvertising.com. I didn't come up with this, uh, but I will be using the code from this site. So if you wanna take a look at this and look at the instructions, I will have the, the link to this site in the description. Uh, but here is our page that we've been working on uh, with Unbounce, and let's do it. Let's add the hint text. So the first thing we're going to do is just copy this code, and let's add it into our JavaScript. Let's create a new JavaScript. We can add it here, and let's name this hint text, and we'll click Save. So what we have to do here is several things. One is we have to come in here and hide the label for every one of these, okay? So we're gonna come here, hide the label. So everything you actually write here is now completely irrelevant, okay? Because you will add what you want the hint text to say in the JavaScript code. So whatever it says here doesn't matter. That will not show at all. So we can go in and we can hide. Actually, it doesn't work for this one. So we're, we're gonna leave this one on, which is like a drop down. But for everything else, we can hide and we can see what that's going to look like. Age, age, looks good. Okay, so now we have to fill in the blanks. So we need two things here. One is the ID of the box, right, of the form field. And two, we need to know exactly what we want to have added there. So for instance, let's go from top to bottom. So the first thing we wanna do is change the name, right? So we're gonna select this first name, go back into our hint text form, and put that here, okay? So first name equals, what do you want it to say? That is totally up to you. Do you want it to say name or say something like enter your first name here, okay? So now that box, the hint text inside of it will say enter your first name here, okay? And maybe even enter dot, dot, dot. We can click done and now we just keep going, okay? Same process. So now we go to the next one, we select this email Go to hit text, add email, and we say, enter your email here, dot, dot, dot. Okay, and we just repeat the process. So what we can do here is we can just copy a few, a few of these because we know we have five, I think. And we just fill in the blanks afterwards. Now make sure that you have a comma after each one, even the last one, or it will not work, okay? So you need a comma at the end of every one of them. That's important. Okay, so we have email, we have first name. Let's go back and see what else we need. Uh, we need, so for the actual conditional dropdowns, as we did in the previous video, we can do those. So like I have over here, see like when I select hockey, it says, why do you prefer hockey? So we can do that. So let's take that, what type of pizza you like. Actually, we need two more. Um, yeah, so we could say, what type of pizza do you like, right, or whatever. So we have that, let's click down, let's go back here. So we've done the pizza, let's do hamburgers. Where do you buy hamburgers from? So we could say something like that. But again, whatever you put in there doesn't matter at all. Whatever you wanted to say has to be in here, okay? So where do you buy your hamburgers? Okay, let's go to the next field. So we have three more. So who in their right mind likes broccoli? Let's add that. Why do you possibly? And then let's just add two more because um, we have two more fields we have to do. And then let's double click that again. Okay, so we select age. Replace that and then we have to change this what is your age and then one more and we can see what it looks like and be done with the video phone number so these are just examples right phone number whatnot Oops. okay 
then we say, what is your phone number? Okay, so that looks about right. Let's click save and let's preview, see what that's going to look like. Now, as you noticed, I do have a bunch of JavaScripts from the other unbalanced videos. I wouldn't recommend using too much. It might slow down the page. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it. So we're done here. So if we select pizza, now it's asking it there, hamburger. And as you can see, whatever you had in the actual form doesn't matter. It's whatever you put in into the JavaScript code is what will show up, okay? So you may notice the button is out of place. So all you're gonna do is just keep playing around with the button. So you're gonna go back in here and just move the button up a bit. Up, something like that. I don't know if that's enough, but that's why I say you're gonna play with it. So we're gonna hit save and just preview and see what that's going to look like. Um, looks about right. Let's just do one more small edit and that should be it. Okay. Hit preview. Yeah, looks about right. So that's it. We've added our hint text into our form. Um, if you do want to try Unbounce, I have a 14-day free trial affiliate link below. But if you sign up using my link, you also get 20% off on the next three months after the trial, which is pretty cool. You don't get that anywhere else. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Google Ads playlist and my Unbounce playlist, where I teach you how to create um, a landing page from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.